they are such a special band and obviously you'll see that name in the in the country music hall of fame someday and i'm really thankful to you know have a piece of that history hey i'm ryan hurd i've written songs for guys like luke bryan and blake shelton but today we're talking about what if i never get over you by lady a because i wrote that I wrote What If I Never Get Over You with Laura Belts and Sam Ellis and John Green. And uh, they're all people that I've known for years and years. They're all incredibly brilliant. We wrote in the same studio and that's Sam Ellis' studio. And the write went relatively quickly, but I, I remember that like we both, John and I each sang a pass and, and I think we each did one take of it. And they were a little bit different, but they're both like, I think we both had such an amazing experience the first time we, we sang it. I started the, the song out with the title, What If I Never Get Over You, but originally it was If I Never Get Over You, and the idea was, if I never get over you, this is what I'll spend the rest of my life doing. And it's essentially like, I'll either be in the mountains by myself or try and get you back. And Laura had the idea to turn the hook into What If I Never Get Over You. So um, she's the one who kind of found that angle. And yeah, I'm really glad that uh, we followed her instincts instead of mine. They had just signed with Big Machine at the time. I think if I, my memory serves me right, that it went through the label and, and then got through all of the gatekeepers and, and Charles and Dave and Hillary said uh, yes. So uh, I was actually just a little um, stunned. Charles and Dave and Hillary don't need any help writing their albums. They're obviously massively accomplished songwriters. They have Grammys that say so. And I just really respect them for uh, cutting outside songs. I mean, they have been so good to me and uh, to, I think, all of the Nashville community by really, like, giving these songs a chance. I was really excited that Lady A recorded it. Um, it's not the kind of song you expect them to run with for a first single. That's a very specific kind of song to write, like, the first single off an album. And so to have them decide that this was what they were going to do is, was, a, was a huge deal. And so um, it was unexpected, but I'm really thankful that, like, they trusted us. Um, to cut the song and put it on the radio and, and, and obviously like they're such an amazing iconic band I'm just thankful to have a piece of it, a small small little piece of that history. Mm -hmm.